Prophet suddenly has graced our screens with something special. My first act in this review would be to state or restate the paysetter status of the movie as the first Christian film to fully feature a person as his real life persona in the person of renowned man of God, Apostle Aromeo Sai. Interestingly for me, this is the second movie YouTube released on May 28th with a 108 minute runtime that delivers value for every minute. It follows the story of Michael, a family man with a strong desire to do ministry, only that he wants to do it at all costs. This motion picture is a good example of a character driven story that has no ambiguity over the protagonist's quest and there is so much that can be learned from his life. Somehow I never got wind of Michael as a child of God in the first place, maybe because of the relative ease with which he cheats on his wife. On my second viewing however, I observed that the problem was with his foundation. At the root of him wanting to do ministry was the same get rich quick mentality that is ravaging our societies today. He probably was never moved by the desire to be a blessing to God's people, but rather he expected that he would be materially blessed by them. Subsequently, he adopted Jesus' disciples' thought pattern at the feeding of the 5,000, work to earn money for a few months in order to feed the people. So he resorted to feeding first his family when through God's direction he would have gotten a divine multiplication that would have enabled him to feed thousands. My submission from this is human calculation can fulfill the purpose of God and that as youths our focus needs to be on God making us usable for service rather than us asking him to use us. We've seen it a lot in Christian movies and so I believe that this is the reality of some believers that they are confident is not merely an unbeliever but someone with ungodly values. The more baffling thing is how those children of God would then listen to counsel from such friends. Michael literally goes against all of Psalm 1 verse 1. Children of God need to seek wisdom from the scriptures. One says that bad friends will ruin good habits and another says that while Jesus associated with tax collectors and other sinners, he knew his place among them as a doctor so he wasn't going to allow himself to become a victim or a patient. It's high time I talked about the acting in Prophet suddenly. All the actors nailed their parts. I could talk about uh, Michael, CK or the dynamics of their relationship but permit me to pick out um, Laurel Olu Egbo's performance as Miyoko Kusheshe. For anyone familiar with skits from the Win Lows, she's not a strange face but from the moment she declared herself as a general of familiar spirit, I completely forgot that I'd ever known her. She has earned plaudits from many quarters and rightly so because she did justice to her role. On another hand, Joy should have been a prominent figure in Michael's life, but what I consider to be physical, emotional and spiritual slumber on her part relegates her. I pray that God will deliver his sons from the hands of strange women in Jesus name. All these good character development and acting were heightened for me with the brilliant cinematography and editing by Dwayne Dyke. I don't know if he's the one that shoots the windless kids, but right from their first feature in 2020, that is 1245, the Bible lesson on the relationship between faithfulness in the small things and the big things has been concretized for me. The horror genre elements in the film, that is the shots and sounds for jump scares and their um, should I say typical stylized zoom ins were effectively used. I believe this is a lesson to upcoming filmmakers to be committed to the process of growth. If your dream is to produce full length movies, shoot your shots and skits with that feature film individual signature. Make your schoolboy errors there. Don't be in a hurry to shoot feature films. If you do well with the shots and the skits, you'll equally be able to execute the features or the series. Furthermore, there are creative shots and a montage that spices up profit suddenly, particularly with the title of song. The montage is one that I've seen again and again and again and enjoyed so much, even though that song is probably about 
about the carnal focus of the man of God. The church scene that immediately follows was utterly realistic and I'm absolutely in love with the first few seconds of it. We call for Christian filmmakers to please give us more of these creative cinematic moments. On a conclusive note, it's saddening to see the kinds of atrocities being perpetrated among children of light. These things should not be heard of among God's chosen ones, but they are happening. The Bible tells us that there are many false prophets in the world, so we need to be very careful. We must desire the truth of God's word because that is what brings faith to our hearts. The role of spiritual parenthood can also not be overstated. Like Jesus said, it is expedient that we check ourselves to ensure that the light we claim to have is not actually darkness. I pray that God's holy fire will burn away our desire for anything that is not of Him that is in us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Alright, we've come to the end of this review. I'm quite sure you've seen Prophet Suddenly. Please share with me what you learned about it in the comment section below. The link to the movie is in the description if you haven't seen it. See the next video. Stay blessed.